Welcome back to MacBook Studio. We're here with Mark Spencer, and we're looking at Final Cut and color correction. Color correction, yeah. We have a new color correction tutorial that's either out now or out shortly. And But there's one thing uh, that I think is so important that everybody's going to want to know how to do this no matter what. So Whether I think you we use just, the color board or not? No, we're using the color board. But if <laughs> you, you said if everybody. You, yeah. I well, figured if you, you meant everybody. If you're doing People any, using Premiere will need to know this <laughs> trick, right? If you're doing any oh, color correction sorry. at all on Final Cut Pro uh -huh. 10, you want to know what I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> okay. It will make your life so much easier. So, let's keep talking about it. <laughs> let's just show. show. No, it. let's go. Okay. Let's go show. So yeah. I, I'm in Final Cut. Yeah. I have a setup for doing color correction. So I have my scopes up. I have a waveform and an RGB parade, and I've hidden uh, my libraries and my library browser with uh, Control Command One to give me some nice real estate. And uh, oh, the way we call that progressive disclosure. Pro progressive disclosure. Something just what we need. Yeah. And here I have this shot that I want to color correct. Now, when I go into the color board, I typically work across these. Uh, panes from the right to the left, dealing with exposure, saturation, and color. Here's what happens though. So I'm going to start with exposure, and I'm looking at the waveform, and I know this could use a little expanded dynamic range. So I may uh, bring the highlights up some, I may bring the big tones up a little bit, I may bring the blacks down a little bit, create a little bit more expanded contrast. While I'm working, I really like to turn this off. I like to toggle my correction on and off frequently because our eyes quickly adjust to a change and you don't realize how dramatic the changes you're making. Right. So it's important to be able to do that. But however, in order to turn this off and on, I have to go back, I have to click this little back arrow here to go yeah, back out. I've always wondered why there wouldn't just a button right there right in the there. color board. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. So I have to go back out and toggle that off and on and say, okay, I think that's getting there. And then I'm going to go back in and now I'm going to go to the saturation pane. I'm like, oh, maybe I'll bump up the saturation a little bit. Oh, I want to turn that on and off, and I'm coming back out and turn this off and on. Yeah. And you, so this gets, I get the picture. This gets Tedious. old very, very fast, yes. very, very fast. So here's what we're going to do. Under the Final Cut Pro menu, under Commands, we're going to choose Customize. And notice right here, there's something called Command Sets. We're going to use Customize in order to create our own command set. You know, so I'll go I'm to customize. I'm always working on my own custom command set. <laughs> you are. <laughs> yeah, it's messing me up all the time. Yeah. So we should bring that up. Why this is can be dangerous. But um, what I'm going to do in the search field here, I'm just going to type color, and by doing that, I get a list basically of all the color board commands uh, that are available. There's a ton of them, and most of them, I have, a lot of them, don't have keyboard shortcuts. The interest, the one I'm interested in one is this one: toggle correction on and off. There is no keyboard shortcut for that, but we can assign one. That's nice. That's the whole thing. And what I'm going to do, I really want to use the letter C for color. And C is already being used here because we can see that it's, it's colorized in this little uh, keyboard here. So I'm going to start adding, I'm going to add the control key by clicking up here. I'm going to add the option key, and I'm going to add the command key. So you're going to have three finger hold down key when you press C. Yeah, I, I call that the smash key. That's the smash the key? The smash key, because you smash the three keys all together. Control, Option, and Command are all together, so you just smash them all. Right. That's the I smash see. key. And yeah. With the C, though. Yeah, so now C is not taken. So now all I need to do, if I select this color board, uh, toggle Command down here, and I type the letter C, uh, well, first of all, it says, hey, you're in the default set, because I forgot to select a new set. Right. So it's make a copy. OK. I'll, ca I'll call the copy color correction. And now it assigns. Control Option Command C to toggle to the correction time. on them. That's yeah. right. Well, let's so, test it. And we can see that color correction is the selected um, set. command set. Thank you. So we'll choose Save. And just to double check, let's close this after we've saved it. Under the Final Cut Pro menu, Commands, we can see that this is now available and selected. Okay. So let's go back to our color correction. I'm on the Exposure tab, and I hold down Command Option Control C. There's your smash. Toggle keys. on off. Smash. Yeah, and go to saturation. It's smashing. Play saturation. Smash C. Then I can go to color and say, you know, maybe I just want to warm up the overall image a little bit. Um, command option C. So much faster and easier to to make your corrections in each of these panes. And by the way, the short keyboard shortcuts to move across those as well. But the big thing for me really is not needing to go out to the inspector and then trying to get your mouse right over that little right. blue square. Just yes. very quickly toggle that on and off and see the result of your of your correction. Yeah, it's like a grade toggle on and off. Yeah. Came out. Excellent, excellent. Have to have it. So right, simple so, thing, but hopefully a useful thing. So your thing. color correction is going to cover a lot of stuff, right? Yeah, we go. I'm trying. It's it's condensed, so try to get a lot of information 
over quickly, so it's not a waste of time, but we go over color theory to really explain the basics of color theory, the stuff that you need to know, and then uh, really diving into typical things like matching shots to each other and fixing skin tones and creating looks and workflow. How can I work quickly, things like this, while you're color grading? Fantastic, fantastic. Yeah. So hopefully that'll be out by now, by the time you're watching this and you go buy it at rippletraining.com. Yeah. <laughs> In the meantime, check us out on Facebook, at Ripple Training on Twitter, and uh, check out our YouTube page. We're putting content there up there every awesome. week now. We have a series called Final Cut Pro 10 under five minutes and Motion Magic under five minutes. So yeah, if you want a quick out. tip, you know, drink coffee, and get a five minute tip, check out our YouTube channel. There's a lot of stuff up there. Anyway, thanks for watching another episode of Mac Break Studio.